Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here at Peterson Electric. Want to talk to you today um, about arc faults, uh, AFCI, arc fault circuit interrupters. Um, if the video is done on February 2018, so it gives you reference of code. It talks about a 210.12 uh, uh, as well as A and B and C. Um, if you're under B, it's going to talk about dormitory. So we have a complex we're looking at that used that was built in 1961, and we'll be retrofitting that. Um, and we are looking at that with the city to talk about um, arc faults because it's a dormitory technically, and they see anything over a duplex um, kind of as a commercial situation. So in any ways, this is just a single family dwelling that we're talking about today. Um, there's been a lot of controversy on arc faults if they're actually a good breaker or not. I have seen certain brands, and I won't pick on the names, um, but I have had like treadmills that wind up and had issues with that popping them, which is kind of a nuisance. But I've seen with most brands really good things. Um, I have actually had a few service calls where in the last eight years the house has been built and it's pretty much been most of the circuits. I've actually seen that it's been a really good thing for them. Um, one situation was a crock pot starting to melt the Formica counter. Um, and another situation was just the scissors on the new couches as they come up and down on the legs for space saving. It was cutting the heating blanket on the cord. Um, I could just go on and on about all the different calls. I think they're a good breaker system um, as far as design and what you should do is to upgrade them. The code does state if you modify, extend, subtract, um, and or move a panel more than six foot, you have to do it. Um, I sell them outside of that purpose of the code. Um, when I'm at someone's house and I know that they seem like a good customer and they really, really are concerned of safety, um, we'll go through in the first step for today, um, for example, is this panel. We did this panel. It's a GE. We didn't have a lot of tandems or splits, piggybacks. So that really helped us out. We did have to come through and identify and trace the panel. We have a few spares that are already off right here that we not have any wires on them. Uh, when you deal with a two-pole circuit on a 40 amp, you do not have to do them. A dryer, range, AC, so uh, things of that nature. Uh, we have to get a two-pole full multi, so we're going to look for that online or call it GE, our wholesaler. And if it's a black and red, we'll have to piggy tail that and uh, find a multi-tie handle. This is not tie handled. I did not wire this house. This is how it was when I found it, but we'll get something different there for an arc fault. That's dishwasher disposal. Um, the rest of these, as you see, this is a GE panel, so the red means a dual function for uh, GFCI and AFCI function. The whiter in this situation are just a standard AFCI. Um, a lot of it was already going to be GFCI, for example, that in the garage. You do not want to double GFCI stuff. You want to GFCI what you need and not. This house is about 16 years old, so it's going to have its GFCI receptacles in the proper locations anyways. Um, keep in mind that when we update, we're supposed to have a GFCI AFCI dual function with the dishwasher disposal because it's within six foot to the edge of the sink, Article 210.8. But I don't know if they make actually a dual function multi sharing neutral yet. I'll find out from GE and I'll call that wholesaler tomorrow. But, anyways, so just to let you know, this is probably the 14th house I've done in the last seven years. So I'm not scared of working on them. I think they're fun to trace out and find. There are a lot of key secrets that I've used. Um, I've been really criticized for my light bulb um, <laughs> trying to check for voltage, but that's not what I'm doing here. So this light bulb um, is really a great tool. And for some of you guys that don't think so, just honestly turn off the video. But here's a great explanation. If you're coming in here and you're trying to figure out your arc fault, is it working? Look at that. It is. Okay. I'm putting a load on it. If I go to neutral and I'm using a separate path on current because I'm definitely running a half amp here, nothing, okay? I can even cross over to a neutral on another breaker, does not trip. So my thought is either they've gotten better at sharing neutrals in the house when they shouldn't be on the load side, or this is just not heavy enough of a load. So I'm trying to test that out in the field just to see on each brand. If I use a normal dual action right here, it's gonna not do anything. But the minute I cross over, boom. I can actually test that without pushing the test button. And that's a dual function. And some of the breakers are getting better so that you can actually know, was that an arc or was that a dual when it falls in its position? Because when it trips, it's just gonna be in the center position. But you wanna pump that to get that back on. 
Um, the other thing you got to keep in mind um, is that when you're tracing these out, if there is an issue, how to turn things on and off. Uh, the other thing is that if Squirty uh, Home Line, for example, will have white maybe as their arc fault and purple as their dual. Um, if you're looking at Siemens, they're going to have dark blue or royal blue as their arc fault and baby blue as their dual. Um, Cutler Hammer is going to be a little different on theirs as well. I don't install them as much. And then Square D QO actually has a test function on them that I like that I think you can do with the home line version too. Um, if it were me, I am a Siemens guy. That's just kind of what I put in. So every time I put in panels, I love Siemens. I think they do a great job. I do like Square D because they do have a, a situation where I had um, that the dis dishwasher dishwasher was actually tripping again and again and again and it was just built within months and they couldn't figure out why so I went in there and did the test sequence and I figured out it was a thermal overload rather than a GFCI issue so again that outlet was mounted under the sink so if the sink was dripping onto the plug you might want to look for that because the GFI would be tripping based on water and that could be a drain issue or I've seen a lot of leaking faucets under a sink Anyways, guys, it's getting a little lengthy, so hopefully it can help you out with the GFCIs. Again, don't be scared of the light bulb. It's a great tool to use, and you guys would get all screwed up on that. You know, I, I don't understand your concept here. The bottom line is if you think that using a meter on a 120-volt circuit of a panel on a split-phase system on a home, how are you actually testing? You're only looking to see if it's 120 volts. I could do that any day and all day, every day, from here to here and here to here and there to there. That's fine, we can check that. But once you do that, how are you checking inside? If you're using a, a simple plug tester, this will just tell you if it's reverse polarity. Keep in mind that most arc faults, you can actually reverse the polarity in the panel and screw that up, not even just at the outlet. But this just, doesn't even have a load. All it does is just barely tells you with an LED light that it's correct or not correct. And how you trip it is you're tripping it and it's crossing over from neutral to ground by pushing a button. That's it. But truly this is going to put a better load and this is. So this is for my tamper proof plugs and this is for my non tamper proof. But either way these sockets these are great to use for you guys out there testing arc fault circuits. Um, there's got to be there's probably other tools out there and I'm looking at online and I'll probably have one by the end of this year and start testing with it but uh, again arc fault breakers are really common sense in how you trace out those circuits and how they're done I have had one home in 18 years that I cannot fix their basement they know they need to gut it was that bad from a customer previous that owned the home um, but anyways guys thanks for joining us have a great week